you also played different characters in the game and you played Thomas Zane. When that was given to you, like, okay, you're going to play this new character. What were your thoughts on it, on how you're going to play a brand new character, which is all you? Well, that was really exciting because we, we, I kind of got to create this new character because he, he was very different from uh, Thomas Zane in the first game, Yeah, obviously. So uh, we kind of got to create him and I, I, I got these... Uh, from Sam and Ansi, I got these uh, photos of, like, reference photos of, of Jim Morrison, for example, I remember was one of them, and, and like, 60s, 70s rock stars and that kind of... We, we would try, like, different things, and then we had a couple of rehearsal days that we would try to just improvise and, and try to find the character, what yeah. he's like, and his sort of attitude and everything. And my idea was that he has to be had to be sort of a very much a contrast to who Alan Wake is. So I would think like, what are the obvious qualities and, and characteristics of, of Alan Wake? And then sort of go to the opposite direction with Zane, <laughs> just to make them different, because I knew I would be acting both of them. Yeah. So, I, th- you know, Alan is pretty stiff. So uh, Zane would be very relaxed, very sort of, uh, you know, fluid in his moves and, and, and sort of, and Alan is kind of a, uh, very sort of masculine, I think. And so I, I thought Zane would be more very in touch with his uh, feminine side as well mm-hmm. and, and sort of just uh, free. You know, Alan is captured. He's, he's sort of, he's a prisoner of the dark place, but but Zane is just free. He can do anything. He can, yeah. you know, love anyone and he, he can be just uh, out there and, and do whatever. And he's sort of a, he's a dangerous character at the same time because you know you never know what he's going to do next. Yeah, which is always that kind of character is very exciting for an actor. Sam actually f- finished the scripts only after that rehearsal day. So we we sort of once we had the three of us sort of together found that character who Tom Zane is in in this story in this game, and and then he wrote the final version of of uh, those scenes that Alan and and Zane have together and and um, then just shooting it was very interesting uh, for obvious reasons beard reasons we had <laughs> to do all the, the the Alan Wake parts first and then uh, midday one day after lunch we we shaved off my beard and and, and then we would I put the Zane's leather pants on and and we would do all the, the Zane parts for the same scenes yeah what made it really interesting was that uh, you know as I explained, they're very different kind of characters, and 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 Zane is the one who's sort of uh, he's more active. He's the one leading the scenes, mm. and uh, Alan is more sort of passive. He's he's just confused. Uh, you know, he has this constant state of confusion and what yeah. the fuckness. You know, he's always <laughs> like doesn't know what's going on, trying to figure <laughs> things out, but very confused. And then doing sort of the more passive character first meant that I I I had to kind of. Uh, already act in my head what Zane would do because mm-hmm. he would be leading the scenes. So uh, that was kind of tricky. And we had a stand-in actor there about the same height as me who would, uh, you know, be there. But I would always tell him not to sort of bring too much character in it because I, I wanted to keep that to myself, <laughs> yeah. just deciding all the, all the choices that Zane would do and everything. So I remember at one point, I there's this moment where Zane freaks out from what he sees on the TV, hmm. and he 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 goes down, drops down, and then he escapes from the room on all fours. Yeah. And that was something that I decided while acting wake, and I did it with my eyes, like doing him dropping down and like seeing that. Wow! And sort of doing this trap for myself because I had to go up, go on my knees so many times. <laughs> a couple of days later, you know, across the room because I did like him dropping on his knees and then going like going outside as wake first so that uh, kinds of things happened that i i sort of had to decide things for zane uh while still acting as wake <laughs> just seeing him in, in my eyes sort of uh what he would do in this this instant that was just I, that was something i'd never done before it, just having a two-hander with and playing both characters and that yeah. was just wow. such fun that is so awesome to know that you decided to uh, go with a certain direction for Zane while you're acting as Wake. And that is so amazing to know that you had your own decision. And I'm so happy that you had like the freedom of doing more with Zane to bring more out of Zane uh, in a creative way, different way. Mm-hmm.